All right, so today's video is gonna be a quick tutorial on how I make my thumbnails. And so I use a, a site called Photopea, which is basically like an online version of Adobe Photoshop. So basically you just go to photopea.com and it brings you to this page right here. So you're gonna click new project and it's already set at the correct aspect ratio that you wanna use. Click create and it brings you to the blank screen here. So first I'm gonna set my background. For this one, I'm gonna be using a, a screenshot of the machine dot itself. So it literally just click and drag it, drop it in. And sometimes it's not the exact same size. So, but hold down option and then click and drag the corner and it's gonna make it bigger. So now you can see that fills up the whole screen. So with the thing with this is that I don't want it to be so bright because I'm gonna be putting other layers on top as you're gonna see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up to image up top here. I'm gonna to go to the adjustments gonna go to exposure and then I'm just gonna drag the exposure down so it darkens it so you know you see you still have the colors and the detail there but it's gonna allow for the other layers to pop a little bit more on top so make sure you hit OK and so that's gonna be the background for my thumbnail so the key thing for this is if you're not familiar with the image files called PNGs that's gonna be the thing that has a transparent background. So there's no background on it, so you can click and drag and put it over top here. So I have folders with this kind of stuff in it, and I have this black banner one. And so I'm gonna show you that one there. So it's just like that, and that's what I use to put my text on. And something key to remember here, when you're searching for your PNG files, so always type what you're looking for and then put PNG at the end in the search bar, and then go to images. You can see the checkered background already, for whatever reason, those don't work. So what you wanna do is look for one that just has the white background. And when you click it over here, it should change from the white that you see over here to the checkered background. So then you save that, it'll save as a PNG file. And when you click and drag it onto the thumbnail, it's gonna have a transparent background. And then the more that you use, just put a folder in your downloads file and collect all the PNGs, organize them. So that way you have go-to ones when you're making your next thumbnail. And then you go over here to the sidebar on the left and you click the T for the typing. Then you just click here and then start typing. Can't see that because it's black right now. So let's make that yellow because yellow is one of the colors that has been known to um, catch people's eye more. And then I'm just gonna blow up the size here. I'm just gonna go to 50. And for this one, I think I'm gonna use the bangers font. So I either use bangers this one here or I use Anton this one here looks like it's probably gonna be close to the right size yeah perfect okay and then I also want to put the native instruments logo here's where I'm gonna show you how to do those cool outlines so make sure you have this selected the image that you want to use you're gonna go over to layer you're gonna to go to layer style and to stroke right so the default is red for some reason but we're gonna use white depending on the background you might want to use a different color that and then this guy right here the drop shadow not as noticeable on here but that's usually what gives it that layered look not three-dimensional necessarily but it looks like the object is actually closer than the background is just helps it pop out a little bit more okay and then the next key thing is that if you're gonna be using photos of yourself there's a few different ways you can do this. I know Canva, if you pay for it, you can uh, use it, but I use this free website called remove.bg. And basically what this is, is it removes the background and creates a ping of whatever image you have. It's not always perfect, but I'm, I'll show you how to make adjustments if you need to. So I'm gonna use this image I have. Oh wow, so pretty. Uh, of me holding machine and pointing to it, cause it's perfect. I didn't even plan on using this, but. So I'm just gonna click and drag it. And it's gonna do its beep boop 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 hopefully it turns out good I don't have to make any adjustments all right so you can see it didn't include the machine in the picture so you have to click the edit button here and then you're gonna see erase restore you want to restore the brush size is pretty big but let's just make sure I get my whole hand in there but if I do that and then I do the outline it's gonna look really haggard so I want to fine-tune this and I want to make sure that I zoom in and this is how I'm gonna get rid of the stuff that I don't want in it. So you go go to the erase and then you just do the opposite basically. There we go, that's good enough for me. My thumb looks a little weird, but it's all good. So you're gonna click download. And so I can literally just click and drag this here. I'm gonna put that bad boy on top. Now based on that, I think I actually wanna move the uh, title around a little bit there. And then I'm gonna add uh, layer, layer style, stroke. It's gonna give me that outline there. 
add that drop shadow just for a little bit okay and then the last thing you need to do is you go over to file export as and i export as png typically saves as a higher uh, file size and then just click save and it's going to save as new project so you just go to your downloads retitle it and you are good to go good look good to upload it to youtube just kind of adjust it to make it more appealing the, the key thing to remember is that pay attention to how you see the thumbnails when you're scrolling through youtube there's usually that timer down here with the length of the video so that's going to block up some of this area you know maybe you're using a, a high quality photo of yourself and that's the main photo and then all you want to do is add some text onto the screen then you do the same way right you add the text onto the screen pick whatever color you want and then you add the stroke and the drop shadow to make it pop out a little bit more and it's pretty simple i found this way easier to use than anything else like canva or picmonkey but uh, if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment and ask me reach out to me on instagram if you want as well just trying to share the knowledge with everybody that's uh, trying to grow their brands grow their youtube channels I have a pretty good click-through rate on both this channel and my car channel, so I feel like my thumbnails work pretty good. But, uh, this is just one style of thumbnail though too, right? You gotta remember that. It might not be the best option for you, but this is a pretty popular style, especially in the music producer niche on YouTube. So if you got any value from this, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Give me a subscribe as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.